Hey there, Erwan the SoCal playing VIP6, and this is where we're at in World 6. Things have been really pleasant. Let's start with the red level and see how that goes, because I always feel like red levels, you just don't, you can't predict how that's gonna go, and it's a lake filled with bubbles. That sounds just so pleasant. Maybe it's not. Alright, so we got watery part, we got non-watery part, there's a secret exit. There's the midpoint behind the level here. We got money here, and uh, let's just go. Giant timer amount. That won't necessarily mean anything. I'm getting vibes from a VIP3 classic here. It kind of had like a similar background, but like it was like red hued, red and browns instead of like being more greenish. And it also had bubble, like was cave of bubbles or something. This is the sequel level now? Oh, that could be it. Alright, well look at that, he's so happy to be here. He has giant eyes. I don't know if they're that giant, but I like to pretend they are. Like those spikes, here's Saturday, more like... Catterday. Took me a while to say that, because I'm pretty sure that's some kind of cliché. And I feel bad, but hey, here's a thing that you get a reward for staying big for. So, that might be meaningful. There's spikes everywhere. To make sure that you feel uncomfortable. Alright, that's how you get a VIP. A single VIP coin. That's the kind of standard we're talking about. Yeah. Well, you know what? At least it's on the way back. So, I don't feel the stress. Well, okay. Well, you know what? Fantastic. I think I got here without any power-ups, so this is how you are expected to be regardless. Oh boy, like this is serious. So there you got cat, cat face cat. It's protecting the VIP, you know? Guardian of the blind, right here. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Okay, you can go in this pipe. I wasn't, I, I wasn't sure what I was expecting. Oh boy, you really need to want to read that text, huh? Well, I do, so... Ah, oh, man! I mean, it must be like something very important for the secret exit. Like, there's probably like something real shenanigan-y. Wake up anyone. And don't be a jerk. Unbelievable. I might just die here, though, again. They really want- okay, so. Point of advice, remember, you can store one extra item at the top of the screen. The key? Well, obviously she's asleep. Beside me. Well, okay. I hope she's doing alright. You can store one extra item at the top of the screen. What? Do you mean just like the reserve item? And that has to do- ugh, I can't- look, it's behind the timer. Like, you can see it, but I don't know, it- it- When something is slightly behind the HUD, it becomes completely invisible to me, apparently. That wasn't worth at all, by the way. The danger of that room. <laughs> like, for a hint that's just that kind of vague? have an extra item hill in your thing. Wowie. Zowie. It's like... Okay, like, what does that mean? Maybe it's because you need to get somewhere small with a stored item. Th that has been a thing in past... Oh, okay. So, that's my fault. But then how would I deal with these guys big? I would need to get to the bottom and duck. So, alright. Not possible. Oh, well, alright. So, I need to get here and duck. Uh, to dodge these, but then Saturday, yes, this is gonna hurt me. So that was pointless. Like, unless there's a secret method to get rid of cavities, I don't know about. Oh, none of these are great, huh? Not really, no, yeah. Alright, back to the grind here. Don't really know what to expect. It's a cave with money in it. I can't go in this green pipe. Yeah, no, this is giving me big reminder scopes of a level in the 3. 
the level that I previously named, where the secret exit wasn't be indeed like a big to do with going back and forth, getting things. I'm getting the very same vibe. Fish is swimming, even if there's no water around. That's weird. Okay, so what's water, what isn't? I am not water now. Got it. Jump. Okay, now I'm in water, but that spot isn't water. Water. Oh, dude. Mushroom. Apple. I need you. Alright, just big old structure with some clams. Sleeping kid, he's gonna be waking. Alright, so that's the piece switch we bring back to the start. And that's where the midpoint is at and all that. I remember seeing you. Do you think it's worth it trying to get the power up here, like the second layer? I think so, honestly. So I'm just gonna leave that there because it's easier to do everything without the P-switch. Like what do you get? Fire flower, like that's exactly what I wanna hear about. Cause now I can fry some Rusty nachos, family recipe. I, you, you gotta leave them in the rain for a while. All the oxidation you can handle will be yours. This is kind of neat, actually. Like with a P switch, like with a held object altering your swimming physics. All these air pockets make this kind of neat. Oh geez, so I was right and. Wanting to bring something here with me. I just justify it right there. I don't know how to do anything though here. Oh, no, yeah, mmm. I, mmm, okay. I am not in water anymore. Now I am in water, because my face was in water. And that enables me to control myself with the rest of my body. Alright, now I'm going to be. I'm out of water as I get out of here. It doesn't look like it. That fish. That fish is like on the borderline for a reason. Alright, that's a fish. That's why I want fire. There we go. Here's a slowdown. I'm going to take that as an advantage. Here, I don't know what. To do. I guess that. Oh, that's not in water anymore. Of course. Um, okay, okay. Well, I'm somewhere now. There's money running on the ground. That's weird. I'm here now. I recognize this place. Alright. See, yeah, no, yeah, this is the cave to get the one VIP coin. I don't remember. The Why did you, of all fish, woke up? Okay. Alright, maybe I go too fast for them to realize I'm here anymore. That'd be fine. Day. Yee! Yeah, you just yee. Alright, I'm gonna get this power up here. I'm gonna leave this here to, you know, just kind of reclaim control over myself for a hot second. Ridiculous, I'm aware. So maybe a secret exit is using this P-switch somewhere. It's possible. There's a lot of scary thoughts that can happen. But all we're concerned about right now is doing this, doing this. And touching that tick. <laughs> You're mean. You're so mean. <laughs> okay, well, we got other concerns now. We gotta go through this tunnel of spikes. So just hold down. Like, go diagonal. You're gonna be. Oh. Um. Do you go through this? Okay, you go through here. Okay, yeah, no, that's a tight squeeze. Yeah, I saw this wall here, but yeah, no, yeah, that makes sense. Continues to the other side. Wow, yeah, this is a... This level has a mean streak. Just a little bit, just a streak. This is probably where we return from the midpoint. I'm gonna take, take it real slow here. Here we go, I did it. All right. Second half can begin. <laughs> Oh, looking forward to having to redo it later. All right, so is there anything here? Is this just strictly where we come back from? Oh, we can go in there. I didn't really expect it because you know what with the arrow and whatnot. Okay, so we might have two halves. I don't know. That's a bat. Well, there. Okay. Well, bring key and P switch here. Is that going to bring me back that pipe here? Like I'm a little bit afraid of it. We'll see what happens. 
directly leads me at the start, at the very start of the level. All this time, maybe I could have used this? I guess I never did try to go into it. Alright, there's nothing there. Yeah, this is, again, I need, like, a P switch and a key here. Two objects. Well, I know where to get a P switch, so I guess I could bring it here, there, and that pipe. And you can go through here, too. Seems odd, but okay. So I know where a P switch exists. And there's a key gonna exist on that side, and that's gonna be some kind of- Cause yeah, I can return. That feels meaningful now. Maybe that's why this- the length of time you get for this level is gigant- Oh! Generator. They might be eeries. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, so this is shenanigans. Got it. It's fine. Uh, whoa. Alright. Pulling myself together here. Did you get a cape? Not very useful. Well... Oh, uh, boy, uh... Is there a current, or am I just losing control over myself? I don't know. Alright, so, yeah, this is, uh, scary. This is a pretty scary construct. Alright, I'm safe, like, here-ish. Like, I swear at some point, I felt like a pull. But maybe it's just... Me controlling weird. Ooh, all right. I don't know, man. I feel kind of so. I can do this and return here and get the power up at the very least. Like the fire flower won't be very useful, but the extra hit definitely will. Man, is that war between the two sections always been there? I wonder. And you just you need to maybe like maybe. Like, the, the wall is there to give you a hint that there is a P-switch somewhere, and you might want to use it. But then you kind of go through the level, and you learn things this way. Like, the same way I'm learning now, basically. Basically, it's as if I'm asking if my current experience... Like, if I just fell right for their... Wasn't... I tried to swim again, but I guess the game didn't want me to. Around the holes, there's something... That's what this level is all about. There's just a square. We put a square there in case you didn't notice. Whoa, shoot. Yeah, I messed that one up. It's fine. I'm still learning. Is this. Ooh, extra feather here, though. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I'm just gonna get the extra feather here eventually. I got it. It's in my grasp. Just try to understand the world around you and depollinate as needed. There is, I guess, the possibility that at some point something scrolls in from the top or bottom with a layer. That just doesn't really seem to be what the level is about, though. Yeah, I... Dude, yeah, so, yeah, if I'm leaving the water, there's some time before I can, like, fully swim, it looks like. Okay, so here's here. There's the last Dagadon, if you're into that. I mean, maybe you are into that. Can't blame you for it. They say VIP on it. And that's a mark of quality right there. Here we go. Okay, I can return here. I just pressed down out of... Okay. I just pressed down out of why not, and then I ended up in a brand new place. I bet that where is the key is at. I bet that's where you find the key. Path I live. No, dude! perform better without a cape, honestly. Which is weird, because like, a cape is just not that relevant at all, the way this level is constructed. It just feels safe, and maybe that has an effect, but like, I feel like I played better without it, though. It's 
weird. Well, up until here, where you got plenty of occasions to thwack a plant, a lot of the guys are so happy to be here, spreading his pollen, but... Pollen hurts, man. Even though it's red. So here I'll duck, here I'll swim. Spiky fish is pretty grim. Alright, in case of the probably didn't load that guy last time, maybe. I don't know, there's just blocks everywhere. Alright, so don't go back in the thing. Just go through, like, I'm assuming that that's where the key is at. Here, we're just gonna go on this rope, gonna jump over this chainsaw. I key, okay, okay, I can see the line, there we go. There's a Dagadon here, it's pretty exciting. It's at the end of the level. Uh, if it's a secret exit you're after, then you should probably check every pipe top to bottom. No, yeah, I get that. Is there anything underneath here? Well, there is. Is just nothing that I can use. There's oxygen. There's water. No, the pool continues here. It's all good, man. Everyone eating cho hot chocolate. So, yeah, so theory. Go all the way to the right, you get the P-switch, then at the very end of the level, you go all the way to the left, you return into that pipe, and then you need to return all the way to the middle again, equipped with both? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Well. Here we go. At least we got a way to get to this castle. The secret exit's gonna lead... I don't need to... the secret exit to get here. It's a storage area! Oh boy! Hey, wow, this is like... Classic storage area. This is just top secret area straight out. Man! With a fish in the bottom. Okay. So no, yeah, it's probably gonna lead to the Star World then. Secret exit. That wouldn't make sense. Hey, we can read the thing. The line about the key being asleep beside me is in reference to a somewhat common macho joke on certain Japanese message boards for a male poster to say when the topic of an attractive female character or person comes up. E.g. A. I just saw female celebrity while doing groceries today. B. She's asleep right next to me. What a pointless... Not that funny phrase. We did it! Yeah, you've been useful, Yosh, but I don't think I can... Like, you're not... I don't think I can really use you. Like, keeping these objects with me is just more important. I mean, I can keep this one... I'm gonna have another fire flower opportunity. It's fine. I'm surprised. Yeah, your head. That's. That's the whole sentence there. I'm surprised. Yaha, your head. <laughs> That's the English language, my friend. So. Okay. No, yeah, there's another fireball in the sp space between worlds though, so yeah. No yeah. So there's no no reasons to feel fear here. Because you can just go here and there's a fire flower in one of these. I'm gonna rebomb them. I'm pretty sure I bombed them all, but let's be thorough. Yeah, this is where this is gonna happen. Oh sh why did I do that? Like I turned around like an idiot there, but like that's what I'm saying though. I can stock up on fireballs here. Yeah, like, the challenge now essentially becomes... Keep your fireball through that gauntlet where you... Where, you know, your fireball is completely useless compared to the cape. Ah, but maybe that's why they give the him they give. Like, go ahead and take one cape. As long as you keep one fireball, you're gonna be okay. Yeah, yeah, there's logic to that. Just be real careful, because, yeah, you're swimming with a held object, which changes everything. 
Yeah, see? Look how everything has changed. <laughs> Nothing matters anymore. Ooh, that was seamless. In a way I didn't expect. Uh, boy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well. Oh! Yeah, um, when I dropped my object. Ah, uh, oh, so that's it? I'm done? Well, I guess I can return. I can return if I have enough time. This feels like super trash, though. Okay, alright. Is it worth it to get a feather? I mean, yeah, I can plant those guys. I can't handle the fish, but it's still those guys. Like they're a thing. It's a bit easier, actually, with the held object. Uh, okay, you know what? That works. Kinda. Just skim a little bit here. A little bit of dance. Pollen is still fallen. Do another dance. Just keep dancing. This dance in the water zone place. Dot com. Well, and that's why I kept the reserve. Alright, so the theory now is that I'll be able to burn the light. So I go here, I beat the level, wow! Then I'm here, which is a brand new spot. Look at that, with a brand new... Thought so. Uh, I guess I have to double grab this. Okay, that went smoothly. Uh, what's here? Oh... So I do have to do this in the reverse. The fish generator is still there. This is scary. I can lose everything. I'm very afraid. I don't have the flippity anymore. Like, I got the fireball. That's not gonna impress anyone. <sighs> ah! This is kind of silly. Not gonna lie. This is pretty silly. talking about all skill boon patrol I cannot get the power-up sadly because I'm double grabbing if I touch another power-up I'm gonna drop one of the objects I'm holding man I'm not sure how to handle this part because also like if I get hit by anything I'm dropping one of the objects I'm holding like double grabbing is not something you were ever meant to do So, the game doesn't always know what to do when you're double grabbing, and something unexpected happens. Uh, I think that getting up here is my best... Ugh. So I don't want to deal with the... Oh, boy. Okay... I don't really like anything that's happening right now. Yeah, I thought it would despawn. Okay, so we're almost at home field here. Home field advantage. Now's not the time to panic and do a dumb thing. Not that I would ever do such a thing. I feel like my up button, no, my run button is embedded in my thumb at this point. Good times. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Time to screw it up doing something stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty simple what I gotta do. Oh, 
And I think that if I had not been big, because yeah, I did shrink, I might have died. Actually, I didn't even think about that. Oh, man. The star didn't appear. I don't know if that's a problem. <laughs> There's just no star. There's just a hill. Ah, I can press the button, no problem. And we can go to the World 6 Fortress next time, probably. Just on star. Ah, there we go. The star is here now. We fixed it. Look. Look, man. Doing the whole level in its entirety without dying for secret exit, that's passe. Doing the whole 1.5 level, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs>